Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Piper. I'm really sorry if I sound sick or if it's echoey because I'm in an empty house right now and this house is quite echoey, but also my voice is like really weird because I'm sick. Anyway, today's video is a very, very highly requested video. I get this question so often in my direct messages, in my comments, on my Instagram, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do a video on it. So today's video will be a how I edit my Instagram photos video, and I am so excited to show you guys because I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time now. I feel like your Instagram feed definitely says a little bit about your personality, I just like mine to be like really colorful and bright and happy and like yeah that's just the general view that I like to go for so I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that today so if you guys didn't know this is my Instagram my highlights and then this is my theme basically started this theme from this photo so from that photo they're kind of more light and airy I guess than the photos beforehand as you can see they're just kind of darker I just prefer this kind of light so this is my phone I have the iPhone 6s um, this is my background I have lots and lots of apps and but this video will just be how I edit my Instagram photos. So the apps that I use are in my photo album. And the only two apps that I pretty much use to edit all of my Instagram photos are Facetune um, and Lightroom. So in Facetune, all that I do is just whiten the background as you can see that makes a massive difference and that changes the whole aesthetic of my photos so I'm not going to do the whole thing because that'll take me years but that is basically what I do in Lightroom and then I go into Lightroom and this is the album that I have for my personal Instagram photos so I've already picked a photo and I'm sure that you guys could see it because it stood out from the rest. The pretty much all I do is go into presets and I put my airy and light preset on the photo. And then I will adjust the light for each photo to make it suit the photo. This is the preset that I made myself. It took me months and months of trial and error to eventually find the preset and make the perfect preset but for the sake of this video I'm going to show you guys all from scratch how I did make that preset and exactly what I would do if I didn't have that preset. The first things first I go into color and I go to the mix tool up here and I go to yellows. I take the hue all the way out of my photos so it makes them more pinky toned as you can see and then I will put it up about 50 and I will do the same for greens. So I just take it down and I sometimes will put the luminance up like 35 to 40. Then I go into blues and I put the hue down negative 50. I will also take the saturation down 50 as well. Then I put the luminance all the way up because I don't like too many blues in my photos and I think it just suits the photo more. So then I will go into oranges and I will take the hue down 10. Then I take the saturation down 5 because I don't want it to look too hectic. And then luminance will change the color of my skin. And I don't want to change it a lot. But sometimes, you know, photos can make you look more washed out than you actually are. So I will just take it down like 25. For my red hues, I will just put them up about 15, 20 that's pretty much all I do for color so then I'll just go done and then I will take the tint up 20 to make my photos look more pinky then I take the vibrance down just 10 and we take the shadows up and I take them up to 90 and then I take the blacks up as well and I'll take them up to about 50 or 60. I will leave contrast highlights and whites and I will just put the exposure up 
pretty much as much as possible except like I don't want myself to look really really washed out or pale so not too much that you can't see anything in the photo so then once I have that generic editing on my photo I go up here and you go create preset you select all of the things that you have used and then you can name it up here I'm not going to do that today because I've already made a preset so there we have the before and then we have the after. I really hope that that was simple enough for you guys in showing you how I edit my Instagram photos and if you decide to use any of my editing tips or techniques make sure to tag me in your photos so I can like them because that would be so cool to see. So I hope I broke it down in the simplest way. That is pretty much how I edit my Instagram photos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will be posting more videos. If you guys have any video suggestions, comment them down below or direct message me on any of my social medias, which will be in the description box. I love you guys. Thank you for your constant support. Um, yeah, bye. I don't know what I'm doing.